Hi guys and welcome back to another video or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Dana and as you can tell from the title down below, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is in my kids Christmas stockings this year. I did not get everything gathered because there's a few things that either still haven't come in yet or I haven't gathered and things like that. So while I do not have everything with me, I do have most things that are going to be in their stockings. So I thought I would sit down and make this video if, in case you are wanting some ideas and stuff on what to put in your kids Christmas stocking. So along with sharing with you guys, my stocking stuffers. I am also hosting a giveaway with mom inside to give away this beautiful kind it can be a diaper bag well it actually is a diaper bag this design is but it can be kind of if you are a mom of little ones still and you need like a waterproof bag that is also functional I've been loving this and I'm so excited they reached out to me to partner with me to give one to you guys we'll have a comment pinned on the top of my comment section on what to do to enter but with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into today's video so the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is actually something I just got in. It's from the company, it's a smaller company. It's TEA or T Collection, I believe is what it's called. And I found this company because I was looking specifically for little boy shirts that were still cute because my eight year old is now in the size eight going into like the eight ten size. And it's really hard to find cute t-shirts that still have the simple things that he loves, which is just anything to do with nature and outdoors and finding products that still have that thing without it being all full of like superhero this and like graphic, like sassy sayings and stuff like that. I'm just not a huge fan of those t-shirts and so finding cute things for little boys that go beyond that toddler years is really difficult. So I found this company because I was looking for those cutesy little things that I knew he would love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be rolling these little t-shirts up really small and then putting them down into the stocking. I know a lot of people probably don't do clothing and stockings. I do, I, only, I think it's really fun because they're very catered to what my children love. But I am so excited to share this with you because these little boy shirts go all the way up to size 16 and I thought they were adorable. He's going to love this. He loves frogs. He'll spend all year long <laughs> looking for frogs. Again, this is also a first impressions. It's 100% cotton, which is also pretty rare to find in just typical stores. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I love the quality. I love the fact that it is 100% cotton and it is 100% what he loves, which is all the little nature things. And I had to share this company with you. Um, again, it's a tea. I'll have these linked down below, but they have a lot of just really sweet designs for boys, girls, um, the girls' little dresses are darling. The prints that they have are just adorable. So that was the frog one that I got for him as far as a long sleeve tee because he's been needing some more long sleeve like casual shirts. And the same thing with this. I actually really like the stitching that they put on here. And this design is like a little tree fort with little animals and stuff. So I thought this was also really, really cute. And then the last one I got him is little bugs. So <laughs> I know that things like this are probably not for everybody, but they are 100% my little guy. He loves all the little critters so I know he's going to like those so as I mentioned I'm gonna be kind of rolling them up pretty small and sliding them down to like kind of stuff the stuff the stocking that way so those are the three main clothing pieces that I have for him that's gonna go in his stocking a lot of the other things here are not in any particular order because they're literally thrown into a bag <laughs> but next I was gonna share with you some of my favorite edibles that my kids love for a treat and that I love filling our stockings I really like the Annie's um, fruit snack and their little fruit tapes. So that's gonna be our main like little treat that go in the stockings. Um, this is the Bernie's Farm. It's these strawberry, orange, and raspberry uh, little gummies. My kiddos love these and it's something that they look forward to every year. Um, we put, they each get their own little baggies in their stockings. So I'm gonna be opening this up and dividing it between the three stockings. My baby probably won't be getting some in her stocking, but definitely go for the toddlers. And then I also, um, this is a newer try for us. We tried it on a recent road trip. My kids absolutely loved them, but they're like a healthier version of like a fruit roll up. They're called fruit tape. So same thing pretty much. And then the strawberry and then the bendy berry. And my kids love these. We've only had them I think twice, um, but they like them so much. So I'm gonna save save them for this special like stocking treat. And then one of my favorite brands for getting candy canes is Yum Earth. I got the actual peppermint kind to put on the tree this year, um, but this is the blue raspberry flavor and I am really excited about these. I actually haven't seen these before. I know they've probably been around for a while, but 
the kids don't know about them. So I'm excited to kind of hang one on the edge of their stocking this year. So this, the fruit tape, and then those gummies will be their like fun, sweet candy type thing that will go in there. And another random thing that I got to put in their stockings are the little juice boxes. We normally don't do a lot of juice in our home. So having little juice boxes in the stocking, I thought they would love, and it is consumable. So it's not something that it's just gonna get like tossed out and stuff it's just gonna be such a fun treat for them. So moving away from like the sweet things for a minute, I got this from Rainbow Resource Center. This is the projector dome, the ocean thing. Um, I might have to insert a picture for you guys to get the idea, but it's just a little ocean projector. You can put little batteries in it. I think it's a battery one or do you plug it in? Yeah, it's a battery one. And it projects a picture of the sea turtle on the ceiling that I got from my son. If you saw my last video when I was talking about the thrifted things I got my kids for Christmas, you will know that the theme that we're doing him is like outdoor stuff as well as um, turtle, like a fancy turtle setup. So he's gonna be getting all kinds of turtle accessories for his soft shell turtle that he has. And even though this is a sea turtle, I think it would be such a fun thing, like a little nightlight thing that he can project onto the ceiling at night that has the ocean and just a really pretty, I thought it was a really pretty thing, honestly. So I might like this too. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Anyway, yeah, it's an ocean projector of a sea turtle for him, for one of the gifts in his stocking. And then for my three-year-old, I found this little bundle actually thrifted not too long ago, but it is just a little fairy princess and then a little horse that she rides on. So I thought that was really cute. And I think my three-year-old will love this. She loves horses. She loves playing with the little dollies. And I thought it was a cute little set for her. So this is one of her little main toys that are gonna go in her stocking as far as like a three-year-old type gift. And the main toy thing that I got for my 16-month-old is this little fairy dolly. It's like, it has a little bell on it. I thought it was super cute. Let me see if I can get it to, there we go. And it has like the little crinkly paper, which she loves, and it has a little bell sound. It's actually originally like a car seat toy, I believe. Um, but she's just gonna love carrying it around. I might end up clipping this off because she probably won't, it's not gonna go in her car seat, but she loves little dollies like this that so she can just tote around and I, th I thought it was really cute. So <laughs> it's gonna be for my 16 month old. Along the same lines of that soft little fairy type thing, I also got a similar one only for my three year old. Got a little piece of fuzz on it here. Um, I got a similar one for my three year old and it's the same type of thing only without the bell. Um, it's just soft and squishy and I love little dollies like this because they take them with us to church it's something quiet that they can kind of play with and it goes right into the little stocking so I'm probably gonna stick it right into the stocking where it peeks out a little bit so that's the main like toy thingy that I got for my three-year-old as well so the main toys I don't do a ton of toys in our stockings I mostly stick it to necessities and consumables with a few little toys sprinkled in if that makes any sense so this and then this will be her main um, little toys that are in her stocking so the next thing is going to be very simple and this is actually something my daughter had her eye on at a recent yard sale and then she changed her mind and went with something else. But because I knew she, her heart was really set on this one thing and she had a hard time deciding between a couple of things to get, I did go ahead and get this for her. Um, but this is a random jar of buttons, believe it or not. <laughs> she had her little heart set on this jar but she also had her little heart set on something else. So she ended up making the decision to go with something else but I went back and got the actual jar of buttons she just wanted to have it and there's all kinds of this these little cute unique buttons she had her heart set on it and I know she's gonna be so excited to get this little jar of buttons in her stocking <laughs> because I think it's really cute honestly but it is random um, but that's what the jar of buttons is for it's for my six-year-old daughter who really just had her heart set on the buttons <laughs> The next thing I got my six-year-old daughter, and it actually is a combined gift, let me grab the spray, here we go, um, is a little uh, cosmetic pouch. This is actually a thrifted item, but it's like a little waterproof nylon pouch. It has like little seahorses and seashells. I thought this was right up her alley. And then what I got to go in it is her own little uh, spray. This is from the brand Pacifica. I actually really do like this brand when it comes to their sprays. Um, and I thought this would be a fun little stocking stuffer for her because she loves, loves things like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be one of her main stocking things as well. Another thing that I actually got for her, which is another thrifted item, are just some gloves and then a little a little hat. So hats and gloves are one of those things I get every single year to put in all the kiddos' stockings. I have a set for my daughter, and then I have not gotten any hats and gloves for my son yet, but I have my other two toddler girls. They just have not come in yet. Um, but this is the main set that I got for my six-year-old. They were brand new. 
Uh, the hat was 99 cents, I believe. It's a Columbia hat, so really nice quality. And the gloves were a, 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 yeah, 99 cents as well. So I thought it was a great deal and they're both brand new and they're pink and she loves pink. So that's gonna go in her stocking. So next up, again, this is for my eight year old little guy and this is the mini flyers, a design it, build it, fly it. It's like a little mini airplane kit that he's gonna have a ton of fun building. He loves things like this. He does enjoy Legos, but he does enjoy doing other things more than Legos as far as building. He likes doing wood projects and things like this. And this is a combination of like wood and paper. So making his own fancy little paper airplane. Um, and it's really cute. So I think he's really going to enjoy that. Another gift I got for him as well is this Rubik's Edge. This is a great beginning Rubik's Cube if your kiddos are just starting out getting into puzzles and stuff. And my little ones love winding down in their rooms at night with either coloring, at least my daughter loves coloring, um, but he really likes doing puzzles and stuff. So this and this is right up his alley as far as what he loves to do in his room behind the closed door so his little sisters can't get his things. Um, but he loves doing things like that. So that's kind of why I got those two things for um, art for him to just like wind down on. For my six-year-old daughter, as I mentioned, this brand is great for little guys. And I was going to get some for my daughter as well. However, with my daughter, it's much easier to find cutesy little girl clothes than it is boys. That's why he's the only one that got that brand. Anyway, with all that being said, my six-year-old loves unicorns. So I ended up getting this cute little ruffled unicorn top for her. And then I also have a matching one for my three-year-old. So they both have the same little unicorn type shirt. So this is going to go into their stockings. I only got them one shirt each because they didn't actually need any clothing per se, where my little guy really did need some long sleeve tees. So that's why she only has one for that one. So the last couple of things I actually have already gathered, I actually went to Goodwill and got a couple of their grab bags. And I love their grab bags because a lot of the times you can find quite a few nice things within them. This one had all kinds of like scissors, chalk, there's um, like sidewalk chalk, there's even twistable crayons, twistable markers, um, stained glass projects. So I'm gonna be breaking up this bag and kind of divvying it up between their stockings um, just to fill it up. I do have an art box that I'm gonna be putting together for a gift for everyone under the tree. Um, but because that box is pretty specific on what art stuff is in there, I might end up dividing this stuff. Like the twistable crayons I'll probably end up giving to my three-year-old. Um, there's a fingerprint set that's like a dinosaur print kit I'll give to my eight-year-old. Um, so things like that where I can divide up and it's in a very affordable way to fill up a stocking but still have it be quality items that aren't just gonna get thrown away is by doing a grab bag. So this grab bag was $4.99 and it had a little bit of everything in there that I would divvy up between all the stockings. And then same thing with this grab bag. This one was also, this one was actually only $2.99. But the reason why I got this grab bag in particular is there is one, two, three, four actual calico critters. So I'm probably going to get those out and put them in my three-year-old and my 16-month-old uh, little stocking. And there's a couple like little cloth dollies in here and stuff like that and some notepads, little horsies. Just a couple little things like that where I can put in their stockings where it's not a ton of toys, but divided up between them will fill them beautifully. I think that's everything I have so far as far as their stockings go. A lot of it, again, is the basic necessities like a favorite little uh, character shirt, your hats and gloves, Loves. And then again for my daughter, a thing of buttons and some random, just some random little fun things that I know they're going to love. Every year I feel like I have a little bit of a different theme or a different idea with them. This year is just something a little bit different I think in the way that it's not anything extravagant. At least I feel like it's not anything extravagant because I've hit like the basic needs as far as like the shirts, the hats and the gloves and the fun treats as far as their favorite sweet things, a few games and activities and things like that. So it's nothing extravagant or anything fancy, but they are all things that I know my kiddos are just going to love and it's going to make them just like excited. So um, that's what matters <laughs> at the end of the day is that there are things that they love and I know they will. So, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great start to your December. And again, I will have the details on what to do to enter this diaper bag linked in the comments down below. But until my next one, you guys have a great day and God bless. Bye.